in today's video. It's all about tomato time in China. So with that said, brace yourself to witness the most amazing tomato farming and harvesting that you've never seen in other countries before. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and tick the notification bell so that you will always receive updates of our channel. Today, brace yourself to witness the most amazing tomato farming and harvesting that you've never seen in other countries before. And having said that, here we go with our number one. Number one is a glimpse of tomato harvest season in Xinjiang. It's tomato harvesting season in Xinjiang, China. Wusu has become one of the major tomato producing bases in Xinjiang, boasting abundant sunlight, fertile land, and the largest temperature difference between night and day. The harvesting tomatoes has been mechanized to a great extent. A resident here planted 9.3 hectares of tomatoes. The region produces a quarter of world's ketchup. Every way in autumn, red dried tomatoes stretch away endlessly, forming a spectacular scenery. Now Xinjiang is the world's third largest tomato planting base and its production accounts for 80% of the total tomato output in China. Various tomato products are exported from Xinjiang to Central Asia, Europe and the American continent. Number two is, explore one of China's largest intelligent tomato greenhouses. Red, plump, and juicy, Hongfu tomatoes have been selling well at supermarket chains across China, from Carrefour in Beijing to Metro in Shanghai. Their quality and flavor profile have made them a hit among shoppers. But what is their real success story? The real success story of these salad favorites is somewhere else. This is Beijing Hongfu Agriculture, one of China's largest intelligent tomato greenhouses. The facility boasts an intelligent software connected to sensors installed on site to monitor, control, and optimize the environment. Number 3 is world-class tomato paste made in China's Xinjiang. For pizza lovers, about one of every five cans of tomato paste around the world is likely to have been made in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, one of the world's largest producers and exporters of the paste. Autumn is the happiest season for farmers. It's common to see mechanical pickers busy shuttling back and forth in tomato fields in Yanxi Basin and North Xinjiang. Xinjiang produced nearly 720,000 tons of tomato paste and other products in 2020. Number 4 is World-Class Quality Tomato Paste Made in China If you like pizza or hamburgers, you may find the tomato paste in the sauces is likely to have been made in Northwest China's Xinjiang, which is one of the world's largest producers and exporters of tomato paste. The unique local natural environment has made Xinjiang's tomato paste tasty and nutritious, 
with world-class quality. Tomato cultivation is highly mechanized in Xinjiang with most tomatoes planted and picked by machinery. The picking machine can even sort ripe tomatoes based on the colors. Number 5 is Watch how to plant tomatoes in China's Xinjiang. Transplanters are helping farmers in Xinjiang plant tomatoes. From digging a hole to planting a seedling, transplanters could handle the entire process. A transplanter's daily workload equals that of 25 people. The machines could save labor costs by 30%. Official data show, by 2020, the mechanization rate of crop cultivation and harvest in Xinjiang stood at 85.12%. Number 6 is Xinjiang farmers benefit from mechanized tomato. Mechanized transplanting of tomatoes is in full swing in northern part of northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, which can greatly reduce planting costs and increase local farmers' income. The transplanting of more than 30,000 hectares of tomatoes is all conducted with machines reducing costs by 30% compared to traditional method, about 1,200 yuan per hectare. Large-scale mechanized transplanting can not only guarantee high survival rate of seedlings, but also increase tomato production through unified management according to local farmers and officials. And that's all there is to it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.